Hi, my name is Rachel. Welcome to my channel, Learning with the Boys. Today, I want to be talking about my ninth grader and, and the curriculum he is using from Heart of Dakota, um, World Geography. He's in ninth grade, like I said. I want to show you some of our thoughts on some of the um, things like science and um, some of the things that he has just finished up reading and what we will be doing once we start the new year. So um, I hope you enjoy this video. If you like this type of videos, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. That would encourage me. And so I want to share some things that we've been reading and what we've been talking about in here. Um, we are finishing up on 13. Um, if you watch my fourth graders video, we got through 14 with him. But my ninth grade guy has not been feeling well. He went through a couple weeks of really struggling. Um, we tried to at least keep up with math, which he uses Saxon, Algebra 1, and he uses the Art Read DVDs. And so he was trying to keep up with that. He also had a piano recital coming up, which he actually missed because um, he was just too sick. But this past Sunday, um, the Lord had a blessing and he had the opportunity to play the offertory for the adult Sunday school class, which is in the main auditorium. So um, it really worked out. He was actually more nervous about that. So I think it was just a good um, opportunity to learn why he's playing the piano and that's to serve the Lord. So, um, so we are a little bit more behind. Um, really wanted to be through 15, which would, I don't even think, let's see, there are 30, Five. I was thinking 15 would be halfway through. So 35. Now remember, with Heart of Dakota starting in the preparing, which my fourth grader is doing, it's four days a week. So it will give him an opportunity to catch up if he wants to, to do that on fifth days for like a month. He could, you know, catch up a whole nother week. We'll see. I don't know what her choice will be come in the new year, but let me show you what he's been working on. He has, um, his science, which is from Paradigm, um, Integrated Physics and Chemistry. Now, um, I think it's going well. It is um, pretty much you read and answer questions. Um, the reading is enjoyable, but it is getting down to some nitty gritty stuff. I almost wish there was some type of video. I will be honest, and I think that's how his mind works. He's not, he does fine in math. I just don't think science is the most interesting subject to him. I think no matter how we put it, I think he would enjoy. So the last few lessons, um, been working with him a little bit, trying to help encourage him since he wasn't feeling well. And I just YouTubed some videos specifically about the, um, the chemistry he was working on and just found a couple um you know educational type videos that explained it to him not only through the reading um because sometimes it's hard when you're reading some of that stuff to picture it so he does have lab and it's not his favorite <laughs> i will be honest but you have to remember every child is different um i think when i'm thinking of my other boys um, especially my second one, he would probably have been fine with it and he probably would have enjoyed it and went for it and had fun. It just takes a lot to interest this particular child and um, he likes what he likes and beyond that he just really doesn't want to think about it too much. He's not mind the reading but um, so and some of the lab has been fine. It's been fine. It's just um, not his his thing so and I think even with like biology I don't know what I'm gonna do because if he had to do lab with that I just know he probably has no desire so I need to pray about that one what we're gonna do um, he just finished up well let me say that we're finishing up this week he's got like two more days and then um, by the time this video is out he'll be done so he will be finishing the fallacy detective for logic this semester and then he will go into the art of argument as soon as we come back he will start this 
And um, I will tell you, with Heart of Dakota, they don't mention anything about the DVDs. But for my first child, this is what I found. And I have a feeling this is going to work for my ninth grader this year. And it's a really good program. Um, I'm excited for him to do it, really. So um, this will start in the first of the year. He's still reading out of his main spines. And this is one of them, which is Mapping the World with Art. Um, this, um, I don't know, is done every few days, I think. And he's enjoyed that in the other spine. But I did want to show you that, you know, there's a lot of mapping. He has to do the maps each week. So, and um, there's a videos that you can do for the art of it, mapping with art, and you can watch the videos and they'll show you step by step how to do that. Um, or like my second son did, he just traced them and that's really what my guy right now, my ninth grader, is doing. But they're very detailed and they have to be numbered. I was going to just show you some of them. like. This is just, I don't even know if you can see this, but like this would be the Nile. This is like some of the Middle East, very detailed with the mountains. So it, it is very detailed and he has to fill in everything. And um, usually we're talking about what country um, in the history with the maps. So um, I really feel like it's effective as you're reading about it and learning about it that you're drawing it to. So, um, and he enjoys that. Okay, um, the Living Library book that we just finished up was A Silk Road Pilgrimage, and it was really good. Um, it was it was different than something we were used to, but we kept on reading it. Um, it was more of a story form of somebody's testimony and visiting all the different places um, along the Silk Road, probably in the early 90s, I think it was, and just some of the churches and the people, all the Christians they ran into, and a lot of um, hidden churches that people just don't know about. And their, um, their testimonies, like they would share some of the stories that they heard and the opportunities that they've got to help. And he, like there's a chapter about underground Christians and house churches and church houses. So um, it was definitely, we learned a lot from, from reading this through this book. Now, um, for the world religion, I had mentioned we were going, there was a book we did not have. I think it was Sitting at the Feet of Jesus. Um, we had just finished this, a chapter in this about Judaism. I was looking at possibly using one of Rebecca's books that talked about Jesus and his stories, but um, listening to something else, it reminded me that I actually have this book. Um, world religion and cults and there's a whole section in here which is much larger than than this book and I am enjoying the details about this uh, was about Judaism so we have just been going through this and I think it's enough um, for that particular thing and we may look at it more because um, I'll have to let you know but this it looks like a really good book so I, I think I started reading this. I bought this for my own information. And um, obviously I had read some of it because I have a tag in here. And, but it's probably been a couple years. So, and it was just sitting on the shelf. So we pulled that out and it has worked fine for what we needed it for. And also there's always DVDs to watch for history once they're talking about an area. Um, these DVDs from Must See Places um, will actually have um, live footage of that area. So that's it's sort of nice. We all like to sit down and see what's going on there. Okay, for what's coming up, I told you the logic will be changing. Um, there's not a whole lot other things that will be changing. Um, continuing on with the science. Um, of course, the living library is always change. When he comes back, it'll be the captive, which is actually a uh, CD he'll listen to and it's from Lamplighters and I'm tr was trying to read this a little bit I, I I remember listening to it, but I don't remember all the details, but usually their Stories are so good and usually they are like written, you know Late 1800s or early 1900s, but it sounds like 
um, someone that gets caught by pirates and taken into slavery. So um, I'm sure my fourth grader will listen to. We'll all enjoy this together. And then um, after that, I think that's actually... And the biggest thing about CDs is getting them to actually stop when they're supposed to stop. That makes it really hard because um, week 14 through 15, he's actually supposed to... I don't know if they'll be able to spread that out over two weeks, but that's okay because I have a literature book I want him to start on. Um, and it's Men of Iron. And I think I mentioned this last time. He was supposed to have already started this. But with him being sick, we really just, like I said, did the limited amount of things just to keep him going. And um, so we want to start this at the new year. Um, so that'll work out too. And um, what I'm seeing here is the God Spoke to Biden will be one of another living library. And for the world religion, um, I don't want to butcher this name, but it is one of the Christian heroes then and now, and I know they'll both probably, I'll probably read this out loud because they'll both enjoy it. Um, Sundar Singh, I'm not sure how you say it. So Footprints Over the Mountains, and it looks like it has to do with India. So um, just some things to look forward to in after the Christmas break. But I really just wanted to share with you a little bit of how some some of the things were going with our ninth grader. Um, I love Heart of Dakota, and I really love the world geography. Um, there's no perfect curriculum, and um, this is the first year we've done this science. And usually my boys do a co-op biology in ninth grade, but I just didn't think he was ready for that. And I really don't even think we'll end up doing a co-op, but I know he will do some type of biology next year. So. Um, if you have any questions or comments that might be helpful for me, please post them below and um, share. We also, I'm looking into French still, and um, I want to review it a little bit more before I mention what I think we're going to be doing, and I'm trying to decide if I want to start the new year. Will it be too much? I don't know, because I also want to put health in there somewhere, and I don't know if that'll be a semester it is only a semester, half a credit. Health is a requirement for our state. And um, we'll see. I don't know. Or if I want to do that a summer, over the summer. So I will we'll let you know. Put up some more videos about what we decide. In January, I want to do a lineup of different grades and curriculum that we've used. So I appreciate you all watching. And I hope you all have a wonderful Christmas and a great first of the new year. And we'll talk to you soon. Thank you so much.